Hi, my name is Jared Fry, and I'm here today representing the Delta Omega chapter of Beta Alpha Psi at Utah State University. Today, I'm going to be presenting on the best practice topic of engagement. But first of all, I wanted to thank you as the reviewer for taking time out of your schedule to review these presentations. With how hectic the last two months have been, I understand how much of a burden this may have been. So once again, thank you. Today's presentation is going to cover a few different topics. We're going to start off with our recognition of weaknesses within our chapter at Utah State, how we adapted these weaknesses to help aid our members, how we are keeping our members engaged, how we created meaningful meetings, and then how we will continue to create engaging, meaningful meetings for our members. So where are we going wrong? At the beginning of the year, we noticed a worrying trend Enrollment in the School of Accountancy at Utah State was going up, but our member numbers were staying the same, if not decreasing slightly. To help us understand what was going on and what students were having an issue with, we sent a survey out to all accounting students at Utah State. What the survey said. So from the survey, we found that the perceived value of a Beta Alpha Psi membership came primarily from the interactions that they have with professionals. We found that we were not providing the skills that students needed. We found that students wanted more interaction with one another and an opportunity to meet others that they hadn't before. And we found that students wanted an easier way to communicate with the chapter and to receive accounting events that are going on on campus. To help adjust for this, we created a Canvas page that contained all School of Accountancy events. So not just Beta Alpha Psi events, we provided a place where students could go to see all events going on on campus related to accounting. This helped them uh, attend more events and helped them create an easier way to see the value of a membership in Beta Alpha Psi. Next, we organized events that provided a better way for students to interact with one another. And then we wanted to plan actionable activities that helped our students to learn. So how do we engage our members? First, we let students vote on the events that were going on. We asked them what topics they want covered, what skills they needed to learn, and what data tools they wanted to learn with to help them become more proficient for their careers. Next, we let members vote for food. We felt this would create a friendly competition among members, and it would help them feel more engaged and excited to come to our meetings. And then last, we wanted to provide opportunities for growth for our members. We wanted to give them opportunities to learn Excel, to learn Alteryx, and learn these skills that would help set them apart during their internships. So our members voted. And one of the cool things that I saw is that there were definitely some topics that were very heavily favored by our members. For example, this first picture here was our fraud examination meeting where a fraud examiner came in and talked about their career, how they got there, and what they do day to day. In my four years as a Beta Alpha Psi officer, this was by far the highest attended event I've ever seen, with over 100 students coming from different majors. It was extremely cool. And then next, we had an Excel workshop where an accounting professional came to campus and showed our members how to interact with a firm work paper and popular functions that are used in public accounting. Our students thought that this was extremely valuable and they really liked the fact that they got to see what firms in public accounting actually did. These events, and not just these events, but just from changing our events to cater to more student needs, increased attendance by 25%. As I mentioned before, we, provide, we allowed our members and students to vote on food. I just wanted to share a quick quote from one of our members regarding the homemade food. The homemade food gives me a great reason to attend meetings. I can stay on campus and come to dinner prior to the meetings. Additionally, making our meeting food homemade allows us to save so many funds just by making them at home instead of buying them from a business. We wanted to plan meetings that matter. So we planned a series of different events that are aimed at specific topics. First, we planned a Women in Accounting Summit, and next, we planned a Mental Health in the Profession meeting. So first with our Women in Accounting Summit, we invited over 120 female accounting students to come to a meeting where they'd interact with 30 women professionals and have the opportunity to ask them how they got to where they were today. Additionally, we planned a mental health workshop where a certified mental health professional came to discuss 
uh, how to handle high times of work stress and how to create a work-life balance. For the Women Accounting Summit, we centered our focus on three words, envision, engage, empower. We wanted our attendees to envision themselves in their career, we wanted them to engage in professionals, and we wanted to empower them to make a change. For each of those words, we created a set of questions that the attendees would be able to ask the professionals regarding each word. So for example, with Envision, why did you decide to work for the firm that you do? What goals do you have for your career? What extracurricular activities do you do during your college years? So these questions are meant to help our female students better picture themselves succeeding in accounting as a whole. Next, with our mental health workshop, I asked the professionals to cater the presentation strictly to public accounting. She chose to focus on four different topics. Burnout, the importance of self-help care, the importance of understanding work-life balance, and 10 easy stress reduction techniques. One thing that she did that I thought was incredibly gratifying to the club was that she chose to relate the presentation and your body as a whole to a financial institution. So she related your body and the energy that you can put out as a financial institution. And anytime you put out energy, it was uh, funds leaving. And anytime you took care of yourself, it was funds entering. This helped our students better understand their body as a whole. And I think it was kind of cool just to see how our students were able to relate to the presentation in a really great way. So where now? How do we continue to engage our members? We want to continue to engage our members by creating these events by asking them what they want. We want to increase event diversity to help students feel that they are getting something unique with each meeting. And they want to monitor our member opinions to see what needs to change, what we need to be focused on, and how we can best aid them in what they need from a meeting. I just want to finish with a quote from Darren Rouse. If you want engagement, be engaging. Be conversational. Ask questions leave room for your audience to add their voice. This quote was extremely guiding to us as we were planning these meetings because we wanted our members to feel that like they had the opportunity to talk to us. They had the opportunity to choose what they wanted in their meetings and it helped us to better aim our meetings towards what would best benefit them. Thank you for taking the time to review this.